Hello everybody, John here with a quick update. More aerial phenomena spotted in the Martian skies on the 4th of October 2025 as 3i Atlas passes the planet. So for those of you that watched my video yesterday, you would have seen that strange object that was photographed by the Perseverance rover. And at the same time as that photograph was taken, another camera on the Perseverance rover kicked off another sequence of photographs that I'll be showing you in this video. So at the time that these photographs were taken, 3i Atlas was located there. You can see it's passing Mars. The date was the 4th of October 2025, 1933. So let's have a look at that strange object first and then I'll show you that sequence. So the left navigation camera and the right navigation camera photographed this strange object at 2133. It was Sol 1643 at the time, 4th of October 2025. And there's that object. This is seen in the photograph downloaded directly from the NASA site. And I'll include the links to all these images in the video description. So there's a closer look. We've seen this type of shape photographed on Mars before. Other rovers have also photographed these strange cylindrical objects in the Martian sky in the past as well. But what's strange about this one is these details, these round dish-shaped parts on either end. Could those be windows? I don't know folks, or hatches, but this thing, I speculate, is huge. Otherwise, if it was a dust particle on the lens that the wind blew off, then it's quite small. So I don't know what to make of this object, folks, but let's have a look at the sequence of photographs. There were 20 photographs taken by one of the other cameras as the left and right nav cam snapped this object. So the first photograph kicked off at 21.33.35 and the right Mast Cam Z camera captured these 20 photographs. The last photograph was captured about 9 minutes later also by the right Mast Cam Z camera. 21 24 39 4th of October 2025 so I downloaded all those photographs let's have a look at those in an animation that I put together for us we'll scroll through it backwards and forwards note the thin lines that move across the photograph so there's multiple of these I count about eight or nine you could find more but folks I don't know what these are these definitely aren't one object through our atlas. These are multiple objects. So could they be, like uh, is speculated, these might be probes or drones dropped off by through our atlas as it's passing Mars? Who knows? Let's have a look at that sequence. So I'm going to scroll through it and then we'll go backwards and forwards. You can see one of those over there. The others will become clear as we go through the animation. I've also created a black and white version of it to make it easier to spot those. Check that out folks.
And one last time. Right, here's the black and white version. So these photographs were taken over a period of nine minutes, you will take, and one last time. Mars is surrounded by orbiters that could potentially photograph this object. The best candidate will be the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. High-rise camera takes photographs at really high resolution. And if it was to snap this object, it will be at 30 kilometers per pixel. So let's have a look if NASA has uploaded any photographs to the HiRISE website. The last time I checked, they weren't updating any content on any of their sites due to a lack of federal funding. So let's see what's happening over at the HiRISE website at the time of this video. Right, so here's the iRAS website, the home page. Let's go to the catalog. And you can see the last photograph that was uploaded to the site was on the 1st of October 2025. Let's refresh this page, Control R, and yeah, nothing's uploaded yet. So, will we see any photographs taken of this object by the iRAS camera? Or is this a perfect excuse? cop out when NASA can claim they had no federal funding to observe 3i Atlas and any of the other potential accompanying objects. So as you've seen, something else was photographed as the 3i Atlas was passing Mars and lots of them as well. Could these be smaller objects accompanying the larger one? Or could they be probes that were deployed to the planet? I'll be keeping a close eye on this website and the Rover and Perseverance websites. And as I find more information, I'll present that to you yeah, on my YouTube channel. So let's have a look at that sequence in color and black and white one more time. Right, there we go. Right, then the black and white version. I hope you enjoyed this update. Stay tuned for further updates as and when further news develops. As always, thanks for watching.